Welcome to another episode of Sandra's Kitchen. That's right. Now in the past, we've looked at very interesting foods. We've looked at split pea soup, for example. Well, today we're going to look at an old family favorite, pot roast. Okay, so now earlier today, just to save a little bit of time, we already chopped up some onions. Right, Grandma? Yes. You want to show Grandma? And how many onions Five. did we? How many onions did we chop? Well, we had a very large onion. One we, large, no, large no, onion. No, no, we didn't eat it. We we took. It's. Uh, I would say. Uh, so the large onion doesn't really matter because we didn't eat it. Okay, so I would say this much onion. <laughs> <laughs> was it a very big onion? Uh, it was a very large onion, so we didn't eat the whole thing. I took about two thirds of it. So two thirds of a large onion, or a full medium. Uh, a larger, a little larger than medium. In other words, in between, be good. In between medium and large would be yeah. good. So yes. a, a medium plus. Yes. Or a large minus. Right. Okay. Okay. Now the first thing we're going to do is sauté the onions, and then we're going to take. Now, how come the onions didn't go brown? Well, onions don't go brown. They don't Potatoes go brown. Don't how long can the onion last? I don't know. Couple of weeks. Were you advised always pre chopping? No, not necessarily. I just did it to prepare in advance because we, we have a schedule. We do. So I'm just adding a little bit of olive oil. Enough to coat the pan. Just to coat the pan if you have other oils. Uh, Could we have sprayed no, Pam on it instead? I sprayed a little Pam oh, okay. on it too. I always do both just so it can burn. Now I light the oven and I put Now it you've done no oven. preparation other than cut the onion. The only other thing, where I, first I'm going to saute, well, we're going to turn this on, we're going to turn the... Did you press the button? Yes I did, but not hot enough because I have... Now what if you don't one. have one of these, and there's no button to press, will the over one head to one do? Any kind. Okay. So I'm just putting the fan on, so it shouldn't just, the oil shouldn't go splattering around. Let's, let's not do that because we're taping, and if it becomes an annoyance, okay. we'll turn it on. Oh, your, your, your father bought a, a, a program that can get rid of all the noise. <laughs> Pause really quick. In a minute, we'll if you feel really dizzy, let me know. How many pounds is that piece right there? Well, they were. Two, two roasts that we're putting in because they're smaller. Those are so, small? Yeah, this is about 2.33 and See? this is 2.32. About? So, yeah. This one specifically says 2.33 and 2.32. Yeah. So in this one, we're doing four and two thirds. Yeah, that's because it's a chuck, it's chuck roast. And we and should always use chuck. No, you don't have to always use it, but, but when you use chuck, it comes out very good. It's very fatty and marbly, and it's delicious in a... So you want the marble. Like, this marble here is good. Oh, yes. It's marble. Nice. If it's not marbly... I'm adding the onions. Don't buy it. Well, and you bought this at Ralph's for 167 a pound. So if we're watching this in 20 years, when meat is like 50 bucks a pound, people will be impressed. 167 per pound. So even though it was almost five pounds, it was less than nine dollars. It could feed a family of seven or eight. I mean, we're pigs, so it'll just feed three of us, but normal families, seven or eight. Yeah. So we're just watching you saute onions right now. Right now I'm sauteing the onions. Is there anything I can do to help while you're sauteing? You can open the bottle of wine. I would appreciate that. But the bottle of wine is, is a twist top. You can it now, I'll tell you something that people don't know. That's I'm going to kill the bird. I'm a bird killer. I've killed like seven kiwis already. And it looks like an eighth's about to go. Because they're screaming at the wrong time. Okay, I'm going to go tell the I've done the twist top. Some people don't know that twist top wine used to be thought of as very bad. But it turns out it's probably better for the flavor than cork. It's totally fine for the wine. All that nonsense about the cork. The cork's good. The twist top, the technology is fine. Now, what I'm going to do is... If there was an air gap, it would be bad. But there, there's no air gap. While the, so while the onions are sautéing, 
I'm going to add salt and pepper to the... Uh, now you could add a little flour to it, and usually I do, but I don't feel like today. Usually you do put flour. Yeah, but... So I'm not really, we're not really learning the right recipe. No, it doesn't matter. So if I was going to use flour, because I kind of... Let's say I wanted to make it the way... You can do it It's with usually flour. made. Either way, you, the idea is you're searing the meat, and if you do it on a high flame, you're going to sear it with or without the flour. I like to I put the salt on first, kosher salt, just enough to cover. Why do you put flour on? How does that keep it from burning? Uh, it's just a way to sear it. Up. Maybe it sears it faster. I don't know. So I could put flour on, but a light, light coat. Correct? What I usually do is I take a big plastic bag, I put a little flour in it, I put the meat in, I shake it up. I put the salt and pepper in there. I put the salt and pepper in with the flour, and then I, I shake it up, put it in, and then whatever goes on the meat. This way. But you could just pat it on. Or sprinkle no, it. no. Why not? Because it's too messy. It's too messy? Sometimes I do it, I take a big plate or something, a pan. And just put it on the plate. I put it on the pan, and then I, I, I do that. There's many ways of applying flour. Anyway. Then. Yeah. I've seen once in a store a flour blower, which blows flour at the food. <laughs> it's very messy. You wouldn't want to do that. No. Unless you were in a kitchen Not and somebody necessary. else was cleaning. Like I, I know I can get Shane to clean, so for me the flour blow is perfect. Now I'm gonna get my hands a rinse. I'm going to open up the tomato because that's something that needs to get done. Yes, you could do that. It's a can and okay. you've been drinking and I don't want you to uh, cut yourself or worse yet, spill some food. Finish with the uh, <laughs> salt. We'll need, we'll need a little more salt to put in there. So Grandma and I went um, wine tasting in Temecula. We went to Ween's family. And I picked up, believe it or not, eight bottles. That's how much I was owed since the last time I was there. So I'm not going to stay very long. Grandpa Jim, for his 70th birthday, maybe people want to go to Mecula. If that's the case, I'll stay a member. Otherwise, I'm quitting. And then we stopped at Dragu and uh, Belle Marie Vineyards. And uh, we drank there. And the power went out there. It's just a tale that I'm telling you. And I didn't drink very much because I didn't want to get drunk because I had to drive. And my um, my mom, grandma, grandma's kitchen and all, um, didn't drink as much as she usually does. She's actually not completely sugared like usual. Because I'm cooking. We did do a Thai food. Thai food. Now, do you need me to start preparing um, crock pot? No. Why not? Do you, you, don't you think you'll find it right I away believe, when you need it? I believe this is going to go right in here. Okay. It's, I, it's a deep Oh, you're not going to use a crock pot? No. You're going to use just this to make pot roast? Yes. Yes. You don't need a big pan? No, I'm not going to put that many vegetables in when I cook the vegetables. It's just much later. So how are you going to cover it? Yeah, they're very fat. I don't think it's going to fit I, to four and a half pounds of meat. I already checked. You think it, you already checked? Very good then. If it doesn't, we'll have to move it to a pot. Well, the pot, yes. Yes, but I think it's... And good. actually, but you're really teaching us how to make this pan roast. No, in this sense, it's pan roast. I'm just saying. You're arguing with me. Don't argue with me when I have a spoon in my hand that's heavy. <laughs> it's plastic. Remember when you were a little bit? How do you know how you were bad? And uh, I used to run after you. The little rolling little pin. So you should take a rolling pin and throw it at you. It hit me in the head many rolling times with feet, a rolling feet, pin. Throwing at the feet. She's throwing at the feet, but she's not very good at throwing, <laughs> so sometimes it hit okay, my head. We have to understand what kind of a rolling pin this was. It was just a, Wooden. A, just a line. It wasn't this thick, heavy one that weighed a thousand pounds. Once it was, it was a big heavy one. one. I know, I still have the bone. Yes. But you're a perfect gentleman now. You're perfect. I, I, I raised you perfectly. A little torture sometimes works. <laughs> so how do you know when the onions are done? When they're brown. 
Well, if you want them to brown, why do you stir them? If you stir it, doesn't it keep it from browning? No. No? No. It's, you put enough oil to... Uh, to brown it. You put a lot of oil in it. <laughs> I don't think you need to stir, but I'll stir, because that's part of the recipe. Stir the onions. Well, I'll make sure it doesn't stick. That's what we're doing. We're making sure it doesn't stick. Now, last time that we did this, I wrote down all the, the recipe as you made it. But this time, on the whiteboard, but this time I'm not going to because we have it on tape. We did last time, but I didn't realize how good that would, you know, DVD, the whole thing. Grandpa will do it, so I'm saying. Grandpa will do it. Yes. Hold on, your second thought. Maybe I will. Because Grandpa was getting up there in age. He, he taped something this morning. He went to a... We have in our uh, in our town something called Lazy Days, and it's a basically it's a, it's a craft fair, and then they have all the bands, the school bands, and the school uh, all kinds of different functions of all the I guess the different organizations are all involved in it, and uh, our neighbor, one of our neighbors that we're friendly with, their daughters. One of them's in the band, and the other, I don't know, she did something else to part of the performance. And, uh, and he went and taped them. And one of, his, one of them, she plays the xylophone, so she was right up front. The other one who said was in the back. And so I've written down the first step. Caramelize one medium to large onion in some olive oil. I'm going to add. In, in the oil, it doesn't have to be olive oil. Anyway. Until... Brown. It's, at this point, it's starting to brown. Probably another few minutes. I'm not going to write down that it's starting to brown right now. I'm just going to just go with the full steps. The full steps. I didn't even put down your pre-cut the onion because I'm assuming I would know that. No. That it's hard to caramelize if it's whole. And it doesn't matter if the onions are not all the same size. You don't have to cut it. You know. Because it's gonna, it's gonna cook for so many hours that basically it's gonna be, it's gonna go right into the sauce. Yeah. It, it, and I, 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 personally might use a large onion, and I probably would to save some because I like it oniony. Yeah. I like it. When well, you make it, does. sometimes you say, "Oh darn, I made it too oniony," and I think, "Holy Christ, this is the best you've made." Okay. Onions are yucky. Hmm? Onions are yucky. So, to, to be nice to me and Shane, it will go with the medium to large. If Shane's not going to be home, because like Devin might not be home. If Shane's not going to be home and Devin is, we'll go all onion out. Okay. Devin likes it straight. She can eat onions like me. How long is it going to take to cook? It took another few minutes. Okay, can I put the camera down till then? Yes, you can. <laughs> it's starting to brown now, so... Uh, why don't you get? Why don't you videotape the brown? How brown she means? Because I thought she meant well, right now it's brown not, like I my hair. Like get my hair. Get my hair. I thought she meant this brown, but she really like means brownness. we don't like the brown brownness. of a woman that's mostly gray. No, that's what kind she means. She's not there. She has some gray, but not that. Not as much gray as you have left in the onion. I would call it not you, Grandma. It's Grandma's kitchen. I call it other Grandma gray. Grandma gray. Is, is what you want the onions to be. It's not gray, it's brown. Golden. It's golden. Like the golden years. Grandma, golden years. <laughs> okay, I think it's about done. Um, what are you doing now? We're going to pull them out, put them on the side. Are you going to turn the flame off? Because you burned yourself. No. So I. We're not going to burn, we're not going to turn the flame off. As a matter of fact, I'm going to turn it up a little. I turned it up just now. I'm going to turn it a little bit more. So I want to look. That is a maximum output burner. Let's not forget. This is a maximum output burner. Did you choose that on purpose? Yes. And it's on high. Not quite, yes. the, not quite the highest, but almost the highest. We're talking high. Okay. And she wasn't really, like I thought, removing the onions from the oil because she ended up pouring the oil in. Okay, right now, Watch I'm going flame. to put a little more oil spray on it. Because you can't have too much oil. And we're going to get it a little hotter, and then we're going to put the meat in to sear it. Just wait a minute. 
for mm -hmm. five seconds. It will fit in there. That one maybe not so much. Push that damn thing down. Okay. Now it takes about five minutes on each side. So five minutes of searing. Mm -hmm. And why do you believe yeah. that you, the flour thing again is because it was so hot that 10 seconds you did? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to put it on super high. Well, I'll put it on super high. I'm going to wash my hands. I'm going to put this in there. But I want it to sear instead yeah. of cook. You don't want it to burn. I'm going to turn it down. <laughs> Shane, you're going to be a good grandma. You should be king of grandma's kitchen when you're a grandma. That would be like in the year... Okay. Well, that's going to be far from now. That's like... Uh, 45 in the year... Uh, 2050 to 2060 sometime, you'll have your very own grandma's kitchen. And if you're very lucky, I'll still be around to host the show. Very, very lucky. <laughs> and she said five minutes, but I made a mistake. Luckily, you have it on camera, so you can see how much it really was, because she never looked at the clock. But it's 2.37 now, 2.38 on this one. Grandma's kitchen, you never look at clocks, you just look at the food. You check to see if it looks good. I know it hasn't been five minutes. I think it's been three minutes. You want me to help you look? I need one of those meat forks. I, maybe it's in the barbecue section. Those are metal. They can't be used with that thing. I just have to boom, flip it over. You want me to do that for you? Uh, you can do it eventually. It's not fine. Uh, I didn't think it was. So it hasn't been five minutes yet. I'll do it. Do it. Do it. Look. No, it doesn't work. I try. Look. I try the right one. I don't want to leave it out with you having it because you may use it on me. Oh, don't start it too much oil up, you might blind yourself. Too close. You're saying too close, honey. You'll burn the camera, so maybe yourself. No, I can't hold it. I can't. Would you like to see it again? No, no. Fine. Got another couple of minutes. I would say it's got about three minutes. So another two minutes, and I took it. Very high heat. Yeah. We're we're uh. I'm gonna add the ingredients and then we're gonna lower the heat. We're gonna add ingredients and then lower the heat. After. No, would you recommend as a novice, as a beginner, yeah. that I use a pot for pot roast as opposed to a pan? The pot roast, the pots you have are too small. You have six they're bigger pots. than this. You need an eight quart. But they're bigger than this. This is wider, so it fits in there. It's not gonna fit too many vegetables. But by the time you put your vegetables in, this is going to be a little shrunk. Or we can move it to a pot. Well, yes, you could, but I don't think you'll have to. I'm just looking for an out in case. Okay. I'd hate to think that we wouldn't get any. Now, what kind of vegetables will we put in just as a filler? Carrots and sweet potatoes. I love sweet potatoes. And what? Regular can we put in less regular potatoes? Because yes. no one likes them. So we don't have to put it in here to just put sweet potatoes. She didn't want regular potatoes, I think. And okay. but we'll put some regular potatoes, then she's not allowed to touch my sweet potatoes. Hey. And Jeremy, he'll say, oh, sweet potato king. Oh, no. But in fact, he will not eat them. He does eat them. Yeah, like one. He talks a game like he can eat six or seven. I don't know. Okay, we are seared. It took about four minutes to sear it. She's going to burn herself now. Okay. Should I keep this away from you now? I mean, you need it again? I probably don't need it till later, much later. But right now, we're sealing. And For about four or five minutes. We're going to get a cup. You have a... a I'll get a cup. This cup? cup? Yeah, that's good. This, this is, is one cup. Well, we put the wine in first, so it's going to go. Wine? Put it in first and then the wine. It's good. It, it, so the alcohol burns off. And just you left with a nice taste of the grape. So, mother, or grandma. Yes. After the one cup of wine, should I cork, re cork the wine? I was watching the time, and have uh, four more minutes. It's only been one minute. Okay. Four more minutes. So, it, 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 it follows like it did, yeah. Can I, can I, so, so can, I, can I re 
can like pour off the wine, you know, I, I can, I can, so we can still drink it. Yeah. But not, not until you pour the cup. Because the next thing in, you might as well pour the cup now. Well, the first thing is going to be the onions going to go back on top. Well, let's wait then. And then we'll put in the... the then I'll re-cork. Look, I have the cork, and I have the cork insertion device. It really doesn't matter the order of these things, but it would be a good idea. Well, you, no, 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 listen, listen, I, I, I must disagree. I know that you must open the wine before you pour, and you must pour before you reinsert the cork. Otherwise, it doesn't work. So what is this? This is, you can prepare by talking about what it is. You've got three different, there's something weird about this. Beefy onion, what is, what is it that it says? What is this? This is onion soup mix. This is, this is recipe soup and dip mix. Onion. This is French onion. It says two envelopes. Because we're not actually making soup. They're all different things. They're all different things. Only one is lifted. Why not? These are three different brands. That's what I'm trying to say. Very, very weird. It's only been three minutes. I have been timing. Don't forget it's going to stay on that side while it's cooking. No problem. I, I'm just letting you know. At this point. So basically, once it's reasonably seared, in onion oil mixture, you put the onions back on. Sprinkle liberally on the top. Now, if this were a pot, if we were in fact making top roast instead of pan roast, would I do the exact same thing? Yes. Okay. But this is very important. You've got a ketchup out. I didn't know ketchup was a cooking. I thought it was a burger topping. Condiment. How much ketchup are you putting on? Mm. I don't know. A couple of tablespoons. Oh, that's good. Maybe a quarter. I'll take some. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Please do that. Can I just measure? Please stop. I don't measure. I just pour. Can you I say it's a half a cup? Yeah, maybe maybe a quarter of a cup. A quarter of a cup, figure, and uh, about a tablespoon or two of Worcestershire sauce. Okay. I want to write that down because. And I'm uh, an onion soup mix for them. I wish I could have measured, but I'm going to say that you sear. Now we're going to put the wine in. Four to six pounds meat. It's chuck roast, yes? Yes. Yeah. Chuck roast marble. Marble chuck roast. And that's uh, five min per side. Okay, we're going to pour this in now. The wine? Yeah. Okay, put back onion. How much uh, tomato is that? This is a, uh, it's two cups. And two cups? one yeah. cup wine. That's tomatoes. Did she add the ketchup? I have ketchup so in So she's here. only added yeah. the wine so far, correct? Right. I have the ketchup. And, and then she's going to mix. Ketchup, Worcestershire three sauce. Ketchup, Worcestershire ounces, sauce. Three ounces ketchup. I think it's more. I think it's four ounces. Uh, Four ounces ketchup. Two teaspoons. Two teaspoons of herbs of Provence. Whoa. Two teaspoons. You always use herbs of Provence? No, I use whatever I have. Two I, I usually use a dill, 
I use dill, but I don't see I anything. I hate dill, so I'm glad to use herbs and provides. And that's how much Worcestershire sauce? Uh, about a two tablespoon, what do I say? About a tablespoon and a half or so. Tablespoon of dill. Okay. Two tablespoon whisk sauce. Now how much how much tomato is that? One 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 uh, can, which is about fourteen and a half ounces or so. Uh, so basically sixteen O Z what was it? Tomato uh, crushed diced tomato. Diced tomato. No, is taking the wine and, and mixing then it. And add in. to mixture. Add mixture. Yeah. And then you are spooning the wine over the mix. I don't think we need spoon. Too much. Salt or pepper. Over. Uh, I don't think we need too much meat. salt and pepper because we've already added it on the on the meat, and there was I think a sufficient amount. Later on, we'll taste and we'll see if we need more. Forgot the salt and pepper. It's on the meat. I was I got it. put on the meat to sear it. Salt and pepper. I'm gonna take a little bit more searing. Now I have to say, that really looks pretty good. I, mean, I was going to try to make fun of it, but I can't. Because I know what it is. It's an amazing amount of delicious meat and a whole bunch of good now sauce stuff. we're going to bring stuff. it to a boil. You're going to bring it to a boil. Yeah, and then we're going to put it on a very low flame. When we come back, we'll taste it and see how it's doing. can't taste it now. Have you ever made it in a, in a pan before? The last time I made it when your father said, it was fabulous. It was in a pan. Can I please editorialize now? Now, Dad called me to tell me to make sure that when she made the pot rose, that she used moon, do you remember? Old moon, old moon Zinfandel. Zinfandel. He said, and it has to be old moon Zinfandel because it was the best ever. So we are, tr we are it's taking. A six dollar bottle of wine. We're taking a risk. We are using rated 89 points, Penfold's Rawson's Retreat. Shiraz Cabernet from Australia got fantastic reviews, um, and it usually costs around twelve dollars. But I got a two for one, so I met the six dollar criteria. And to me, since we use only a cup, I'm going to drink the rest. I figure why buy something like Old Moon that I might not be able to actually drink. Did you drink the Old Moon before? Yes, yeah, it was good. It was good. It was a nice. Oh, no. He aerated it, so it was, it was okay. It's fine. Uh, what he's on now? You just turned on the heat, right? Well, I turned it down a little bit, but then I turned it back up because it's not boiling yet. You're trying Starting to boil. to boil. You gotta boil it, then you're gonna turn it down to its lowest setting. I want to show people what she mentioned aeration. She was talking about this aeration device. I don't know if in the future. Venturi is the brand. It's the only one that makes it. I think they no, must no, have had it. No, there's another one. Is it? There's Wayne's one. Winery had one. Yeah, but it wasn't a Venturi? No. Ooh, maybe it's better. Anyway, this might just be a fad, but it does aerate the wine incredibly quickly. It tastes really good, but I still do. And dry my kids crazy. But uh, it's a good thing. I wonder if I'll be, I'll be laughing at myself one day. Or maybe wine will just automatically, when you pour it, there'll be an aeration device in the top in the future. Maybe I'll be watching this next year, in which case, although that is the future, technically, I'm not really talking about it next year. Now that looks stupendous. Do you need this? Uh, we're going to have to put the fan on. This a whole lot of room. While we're smell. gone. While we're gone. Yeah. I want it to smell from... Uh... <laughs> now you know the top is touching the lid. Is that acceptable? Yeah. Because it was, it was pretty much a fatty piece of meat right there. I mean, not that it was fatty, it was just fat. Not, so it's got to cook, it's got to be on top. We need it at the top. You turn it to the lowest, and that's good. Turn it to low. Okay. Turn now? It, turn all the way to low. Lowest to low. Start cleaning up a little bit. Put the stuff Excuse back. Now, is, is there anything left to do before we leave other than clean? Is there any more cooking? Well, we'll have to check and see what it's at. What, what are we checking? Excuse me. What are we checking? I have to see, make sure that it's low enough that it's not keep In five minutes or when? Before we leave. 
So like in, we're leaving in uh, 20, 20 minutes. Yeah. It's 2.51 now. When do you want to check? I want to check in uh, oh, five, five minutes or so. Okay. So let's stop taping and I will turn on the noise maker. We had the... Uh, what I'm doing now... Peeled some carrots. Is we transferred... We transferred the meat to my a pot. Right. You hear what she said my son is right? Because it's after all called hot roast for a reason. And that is, you know, the, a lot of liquid comes off the meat. And then you want to put vegetables. And so there's no room for the vegetables. Now we have to put the liquid back in, in the pot. So we transferred the meat. It was a messy job. We transferred the meat to the pot, and we put the carrots. We cut. How many carrots are in here? Uh, you can do any number. About three or four carrots, large carrots. Three large. So we took three large carrots, and I'm placing the carrots under, under the meat. meat, under the meat, so that they cook more, because the, they cook takes longer to cook them than sweet potatoes. Is that true, Ma? Uh, well, eventually they'll all go try to push together. Where are the too. potatoes? I'm going to have to peel them first. Now we cut the carrots into one inch length carrots. But we could have done half inch or quarter inch. Is that correct? I do whatever you want. Did you used to do quarter inch? No. I never did quarter have you ever done half inch? No, I do about an inch. Unless it's. Uh, I really, I don't really concern myself. You don't carry me. Yeah, let's pause to get the phone. Yeah, but let's try to get going. All right, so we transferred. Now we have carrots, the wonderful sauce. Sweet goodness gracious, it smells good. And the meat is basically done. Like if we wanted, we could eat the meat now. Mm. But it'll probably get softer if we cook it more. Right, Ma? Yes. Grandma says yes. And the sweet potatoes. Right now. And Shana wants some potatoes. Food in the oven. And you put it back on a higher heat now. Now, just to show you what we do here in Grandma's kitchen, if you film, we're making tomorrow's food. There it goes. And that's because. Once you're wasting your day in Grandma's kitchen, you want to prepare for the next day so you don't have to waste two days in a row. Right? Well, not only that, but we're going to the theater tomorrow, so when we come home, we want the food ready. So we're not now what are we doing next? Uh, are you making the next potatoes? Next I have to peel the potatoes and the sweet potatoes. I'm not going to peel them. Why don't you peel them and then we'll film when they're peeled? She okay, loves okay. to peel. I hate to peel. <laughs> love to peel. Hate. Love to peel. Hate is, hate is a strong word, Mom. Yeah, why don't you peel a little and you'll see. Let me introduce it. Okay, so Grandma loves to peel. And she peeled. Check it out. All right, so why don't you tell us what we're going to do now? Okay, I peel the potatoes and, and I peel Pause. Peeling. So we're back. Grandma loves to peel, and boy, did she peel! Look! Grandma, why don't you tell us what you're going to do now? I peel the potatoes, and I put them in cold water so they don't get dark. But if you don't have to put them in cold water if, if you weren't waiting while you were cutting well, the other I was, ones. I'm just cutting the other ones. I like to make sure it's Don't you think this one's too big? Look, that's a big piece of potato. You'll cut it. You'll, what do you... What? Well, I, was just, I didn't buy the potatoes. So. Oh, you didn't want to chop, 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 chop? Okay, so we have potatoes about a half inch thick each. No, about an inch. An inch with this, and some of the sweet potatoes are even thicker. It doesn't really matter. Or a half inch if you use Hopefully, the metric system. If you, if you're lucky, you will all get ready for <laughs> I know. Okay, I'm taking these potatoes and I'm also putting them underneath. You want me to do the underneath thing? Sure. Because you look a little spastic.
Are you going to also want the sweet potatoes underneath? Yes, everything goes underneath. Okay. What happened, because uh, basically the Ouch. top is already, the meat is mostly cooked. Right, so we, we want to cook on the bottom. We want to put the stuff between the meat and the bottom. You want to throw some of that in? You can burn your little kishkas. What are kishkas? Kishkas are this. Whatever they are, you're burning them. No, tissues are inside you. Your uh, stomach. You're putting them all in the same place. Well, that's where you're It's going to be harder to cover it. Go with that big one. <laughs> big cover. I think I said less veggie this time. Huh? Yeah, I did a lot of sweet potatoes because I figured... We like them. We like them. We like them, so you eat them. I don't know if Shane likes it. She said she did. Does. She told me she did. Well, she That's wanted to bring it. She's, I, 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 she wants both. I did very little regular, just two two potatoes, two little potatoes. Everything is... is so I got is, nothing is, against is, regular, but why go regular when you can go orange? That's it. The daddy. Now we have to turn Burn it off the stove again. Turn it up so it should heat. So it should. Uh, have to now, how long do we wait now? Until it's soft. Until the, the, the vegetables. About an hour? Soft. No, about 30. 30 you think we'll be 30, eating 30 by minutes. six? That's my goal. Woohoo! The, uh, the other thing I'm making will be ready at six. What's the other thing you're making? Turkey tenderloin. That's tomorrow. for tomorrow. That's for tomorrow and for uh, the non meats. Okay, well I think that uh, we will show it again at the end when it's done. And then I'll even, uh, you know, um, um, if it's good I'll say she did a good job. And if it's not, I'll hit it with a rolling pin. <laughs> well, I just am checking to see whether the vegetables are ready. Actually, they already just, 15 minutes ago, but we're doing this in the tank. I just we already know they are. Fork we did in, this. And I see it's soft, so I know it's ready. And it's going to be time to eat now. So shut we're, we're going to eat. Wait, wait, wait. You want to get a film of this? Not too close, but that's a beautiful grandma's kitchen pan pot roast.